junkin' pool over here in Portville. Well, here's some of the stuff we got from the electrician. Some of it was here, but... Got some good copper and them. I think a couple of them's got aluminum. So them are nice number one copper. Broken glass here. Well, this is the main score, I think, was uh, ballast. Pretty good pile of them. And I broke down some rims. I think I did six today. Something like that. And ballast up there. Ballast up there. I about ready to take off to the scrap there. Got some electric motors, a couple alternators in there. So we'll have to figure out what we get. Debbie's been out here helping me. And some of this stuff I'm going to tear apart. Got these lights. They've got aluminum transformers in them. Pretty good sized transformers. Took the bulbs out, the ones that weren't broke, and threw them in the garbage here. Knocked the ballast out of a few of them. There's a couple more transform transformers. Put in that thing there. And we got these fuse boxes here. That's some copper in these. I think they're a lot of work. Got some small transformers in these things. These lights here. I said I hope you wanted to get rid of them, so we set them off to the side. I'm sure they went. They were up there with everything else. Been loading the baler down. Popped uh, some ballast out of some of these. Trying to make a little room around here. So at least I can move this vehicle, I can put some gas in, at least I can drive around and uh, I'm going to change, I'm going to flush the engine and somebody said change oil, which I definitely agree, I don't remember who it was, left a comment, but yeah, definitely got to change oil and get some good oil and, but I think I'm going to run some engine flush through there, just uh, see if, hopefully that, uh, it's just the oil is so old. I'm surprised it even started with the gas that was in it really smelt like turpentine. Uh, the mail hasn't run yet. Yeah, there's some good copper in this here too. Nice thick copper. Some cast, these are cast aluminum. Knocked the glass out of them. There's some more cast aluminum in there. I think that wire was here. So yeah, I took all my rims except for these four here. And actually, the reason I don't really want to take them, they're halfway decent tires, and they'll bowl in my Chevy if I happen to get a flat. They're all mounted, and they all hold air. About the time I break them down, I got good tires on my Chevy, but that and I got tired. That was a lot of work. These got copper in them. That's a aluminum arm there. Aluminum piping. Use these to pull the wheel weights. I used these before for that. These, This pair I just bought at a yard sale for like five bucks and actually I pulled the valve stems out and I believe out of all of my pulls I think I could probably use uh, seven or eight of them that look like they come right out. So I'll just throw them in there in case I happen to need one. And, but anyway I still got a mess around here but money in the bank or money in the pocket or whatever. And we went in uh, it's, uh, still looking pretty good, so I guess I'll take my rims in. I've had a lot more rims than this at once. I I used to, when I was picking up cars all the time, it got too much competition. I wasn't getting them, but and I'd have a lot more than this, plus good tires. And But yeah, I'll still pick them up, hang on to them, get a car. We pull the aluminum wheels off. And the converter and the battery, and usually the rest of it goes right in for the strap. So, yes, yeah, so what I gotta do before I forget I'm 
I'd like to bring this uh, claw with me. Drag that stuff out of the front. Hopefully I can shut my tailgate. Yeah, we were definitely loaded. Let's see, we had some stuff in the back seat. There's another light there. Probably got ballast in it. Maybe we'll keep that light and try it and see if it works. Got my little rod here, the shock rope. I asked Debbie, I said, you going to go to the yard with me? She said, I think I'll stay home. But she was out here working pretty hard. We took a few breaks. It was getting pretty hot. Well, hope everybody has a good day. We'll, we'll do a video probably tomorrow on what the rims and everything paid. And I'm going to start getting this stuff processed. I want to get all this out of here. And uh, get a few things I want to do for winter. And this whole area is one of them. So get rid of that engine block. I got to see what they're paying for clean motor cast. Got a little lead. I got a bunch of lead around here. I don't know what the price of that is. Someplace I got a brick that weighs about. 55 pounds. Well, thanks for stopping by Porville. I guess I can't really show a load there. Have a good day now. Go find some junk or not.